She-Hulk, one of my favorite agents of Smash. Welcome back. She-Hulk is on her way to break your TV. But don't worry, Disney Plus has a few other series like Ms. Marvel, Hawkeye, Loki, and What If coming up in between Falcon and the Winter Soldier and She-Hulk. So this gives us a lot of time to speculate. But for today's video, I want to talk about Jennifer Walters, aka She-Hulk's powers, and how she actually differs from Bruce Banner's Hulk. Guys, is this a code green? Now, let's discover each of the abilities and powers that make She-Hulk one heck of a green monster. While we still don't know how the lawyer Jennifer Walters will gain her green giant powers in the upcoming series She-Hulk, with Mark Ruffalo reprising his role as Bruce Banner, things might turn out to be very close to the comics. In them, Bruce gave her a transfusion of his own blood to help her survive after a criminal shot her. Since Jennifer gained her powers in a less violent and different way than Bruce did, it might explain why she got such diversified powers. But just like Hulk, she has one power that will be useful against the many sorcerers and telepaths coming our way. Having telepathic immunity, no one can read her mind, and yes, not even the Scarlet Witch. Since not a soul can get into She-Hulk's head, one would think hitting her with full magical powers would do the trick, right? <laughs> well, think again. Remember how our buddies Deadpool and Wolverine can regenerate and heal real fast? She-Hulk can almost do the same thing, but to an extent. While Deadpool can crow back basically any part of his body, just like that time he had a tiny creepy baby hand or baby legs, She-Hulk needs to be careful because if she loses a hand, she loses a hand. While as we've seen with She-Hulk throughout the MCU films, it's close to impossible to pierce one of those green monster skin, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Deadpool though, that guy loses limbs all the time. She-Hulk might not be Quicksilver, or close to any other speedster superhero for that matter, but she however does hold superhuman speed. Since she has almost Hulk level strength but a more compact form, her powerful muscles allow her to move real fast. She mostly uses this skill in order to evade enemies without them even noticing. She was even seen in the comics as dodging an incoming flying Iron Man without much of an effort. Her superhuman speed might just be one of the most prominent differences between her and the Hulk, as Hulk is more of a gigantic tank ravaging everything in his way, while She-Hulk is an incoming guided missile. Boom! It is true that with these extra strong compact muscles of hers, She-Hulk must weigh quite a lot. But it doesn't mean that, like Bruce Banner's Hulk, she lacks agility. She-Hulk is basically a Green Panther. Tough, very agile, balanced, coordinated, and having superhuman reflexes. This combined with her superhuman speed makes her even more of a threat to anyone in her way. Since her first appearance in the 1980s comic book Savage She-Hulk No. 1, the Marvel superhero has dodged countless bullets, powerful energy blasts Iron Man style, and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the quickest villains out there, and that not always in an open field. With all the powers of hers I've listed so far, she's one hard-to-catch fighter. And as I will explain later, you really don't want her to catch you. Now, my goal with this video is not to argue that she's better than the Hulk, but she's actually better than the Hulk. Another cool skill, or should I call it a state of mind, that gives her points in the OP department versus Hulk is the fact that she masters her own emotions. While she was in an uncontrollable rage when she first got her superpowers, she quickly became able to use her full intelligence even in her She-Hulk form. Fine, Bruce Banner has got his powers under control the last time we saw him in Avengers Endgame, but can he move like Black Widow? No? <laughs> well, She-Hulk can. I really hope we get to see both get into a fight during the Disney Plus series. Hopefully, it'll prove my point. Uh, if not, sunglasses please, thank you. Super this, super that, brace yourselves, because there's going to be a lot of super everything in this video. On top of everything mentioned so far, She-Hulk is gifted with super stamina, which means she can pummel an enemy or a whole army of enemies for days. Two days to be more precise. And even then, she's not completely out of energy, just a bit more tired. She-Hulk is made for long epic battles or seemingly endless journeys, and with the Multiverse of Madness promising a lot of chaos in every single part of the cosmos and beyond, She-Hulk seems to be a great access to travel across these multiple worlds. Who knows, maybe we'll get to see her on a multi-dimensional quest with the interdimensional traveler Miss America, who will be introduced in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. While She-Hulk can't fly like Jessica Jones or the Scarlet Witch, boy can she jump. Building crawling superheroes like Daredevil or villains like Black Cat are no match for the athletic leaping giant. Her ultra jump skill can be quite useful if she's faced with flying enemies like Vulture or the robotic Ultron but can also serve as the ability to evade powerful attacks like Agatha Harkness's purple dark magic energy bolts. In one of her many insane comic book moments, she even jumps from building to building to eventually throw herself skyward to catch a plane. And when I say catch a plane, I mean that she literally jumped on a flying plane to get one of those pesky villains down. 
Talking about flying crafts, Jennifer has amazing piloting skills. While that might not be categorized as OP, it's still one very useful skill, one that I don't even possess yet, which in a way keeps the road safe and the skies. No need to thank me. In the comics, we've seen her fly aircrafts not only for the Avengers, but also for the Fantastic Four, a group of superheroes who will hit the big and small screen soon enough. She was also featured in the animated show Agents of Smash, where she kicked evil butts while being the team's official jump jet pilot. But that's not all. She-Hulk has been seen driving, or more like piloting, a flying 1995 Dodge in space. <laughs> kind of weird, but I can picture her going on a space stroll in her car with one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Hopefully Drax. The current pandemic we are living through won't affect She-Hulk just one bit. The woman is not only super resistant to injury, but also to any kind of weakness. Her uber-strong immunity is part of an array of superpowers that comes directly from her superhuman metabolism. You won't see She-Hulk catch a cold or even get the slightest headache. She also has an incredible defense mechanism against any poisons or toxins that may enter her bloodstream. Another side effect is that it also works to protect her from getting drunk. Remember how much Jessica Jones drank in the Netflix series? Well, it's a bit like that, but much more effective. Now that ability is quite an OP one. She-Hulk is immortal. Yep. She literally can't die, or at least not permanently. While there are other immortal beings throughout the Marvel Comics universe, this ability is one that's shared amongst all Gamma-empowered beings, just like the Hulk. I'm not quite sure they will give her this kind of power in the MCU, or at least not advertise it, or else we'll be stuck with the same issue we have with overpowered characters like the Hulk or Captain Marvel. It seems like the creators just have no idea how to handle these characters when they need to create some kind of difficult situation. So they either have Bruce Banner incapable of turning into the Hulk like in Avengers Infinity War, or have Carol Danvers fly off somewhere in a galaxy far, far away, probably to get another haircut. You gonna get another haircut? While most of She-Hulk's powers are defensive or used for close combat, she can also generate what we call a Gamma Shockwave. At some point in time, after an incredible level up, She-Hulk can unleash blasts of Gamma energy every which way. When the energy blasts hit any surface, everything goes up in flame. This power is so OP that it can easily level entire city blocks, which can make it quite dangerous for anyone in the surrounding area. That, plus the fact that she can only activate this skill when she's really, really, really mad, which could cloud her judgment for a slight moment, even if she is known to mostly have control of her own powers. While this is not a ranking type video, we often rank high brute strength or OP laser shooting, but one of the things that's the most important in a superhero is intelligence. As I said earlier, Bruce Banner now has control over his Hulk form, or a sort of in-between form at least in Avengers Endgame. But for most parts of the franchise, he's been a rampaging monster filled with anger. When it comes to She-Hulk, she doesn't have this problem. As a Harvard Law School alumni, Jessica is an incredibly intelligent person. And that brain of hers, but also her personality, stays intact when she's on the battlefield. Coupled with all her superhuman powers, this gives her quite an advantage, as she can strategize adequately when faced with powerful foes. But also find the best way to protect her allies, like the Avengers. For sure, She-Hulk can just ram into her enemies or just throw them into the sky, sending them flying Team Rocket style. But truth be told, she's a bit weaker than the Hulk when it comes to strength, so she has to find ways around that little problem if faced with a threat of her scale or a bigger one. She decided to get into combat techniques when she lost a battle against the pretentiously named Champion of the Universe, also known as Trico Slatterus. After that, she decided to train under another green lady, Gamora, the deadliest woman in the universe. While she also trained under Captain America, there's no chance that would happen in the MCU for obvious reasons, but the former situation might just happen. With all these combat skills acquired, She-Hulk can even be one of the best street-level heroes just by staying in her human form. The main attraction of characters like She-Hulk is of course their super strength. Like I slightly hinted in my previous entry on her Gamma Shockwave ability, her power level tends to fluctuate depending on her emotions. While she's no slave to anger like the Hulk, it can give her quite a boost when she needs to break one tough opponent. What's also interesting about the character is that she not only improves her fighting skills throughout the years, but her strength level is getting higher and higher. She started with a class 50 level of strength, she went up to a class 75 when she was working out during her time with the Fantastic Four. The things Jim makes miracles. As of now, she ranks over class 100, which makes on par with or even stronger than Colossus, Thor, and even the mysterious Mephisto that everyone started hallucinating while watching WandaVision. She's super strong, she can fight, shoot gamma energy, and she's one intelligent woman, but do you know that she could also switch bodies with someone? Well, kind of. She can transfer or swap her powers with someone else. She learned the peculiar skill when training with the Ovoid alien race, who use mind transference to transfer their minds from their dying bodies into clone ones to keep on living. 
Since she's not affected by almost anything else, she used the skill to save a bunch of people from turning into stone in Sensational She-Hulk number 45, when she transferred her powers to each individual. I have a feeling we won't get to see all these powers at play in the upcoming Disney Plus series She-Hulk, but it would be great to see a brand new character grow stronger as time goes by, while also giving Bruce Banner a whole new project to work on. Just stop dabbing, Bruce, please. You're embarrassing yourself. While we don't know much about the events that will unfold in She-Hulk, with the upcoming Secret Invasion series and the introduction of S.W.O.R.D., there's still a chance we'll get to see her take her flying car out to space and maybe road trip with Gamora, because hey, why not?